There is something within us that tells us all we will ever know about ourselves. There is a destiny that tells us where we will be born, where we will live, and where we will die. I have walked the land in the footsteps of all my fathers. I saw yesterday, and now look to tomorrow. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. Sometimes I feel like a crazy man. I, I can't rest or sleep or anything till I just rush off up here and write it down in that tablet. You don't tell everybody in a little town like this that you're going to be a writer. <laughs> he is so charming and very sexy. He's a very sensual man, but he's strong as that oak tree. I knew that there was another world beyond the rims of the mountains, and that I wanted to experience that and to know what it was like. I don't know a thing about the writing trade, son. Uh, altogether, a very strange boy. I, I, I know my father used to look at me and think, what in the hell have we got here? But if you want to take it up, you got to give it your best. The Invaders. <laughs> They always think Waltons, and I always think Twilight Zone. Oh, he wrote some of the best Twilight Zone episodes. That one about the car, the, the car that follows the man because he hit the kid. Oh, it's so creepy good. We got the only pool in town with a head on it. He celebrates the best of humanity. You know, Miss Hunter told me that the talent of being a writer was a gift. I know where I know where that gift comes from. Because if the writing's not there, that does I'm telling you, it's number one. It's usually, it's actually number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's eight. one of the last of the great storytellers. It's the little Heidi cloud, I call it. I, I've decided that on my tombstone, it's gonna read, she was a great moment in sports. It was a different show without Earl's grace and warmth. What a kind, considerate, honest man he was. And I said, what is he doing as a producer? Earl Hamner is one of the nicest men I've ever met in my whole life, including everybody. Earl is such a nice guy. If he didn't have a wicked sense of humor, he'd be insufferable. The world today needs more of Earl's work. Earl is absolutely a national treasure. I think that The Waltons is a, is a uh, quintessentially American show. Besides, he drove a Corvette. I mean, he was a cool cat. So yeah, I mean, I can't wait to watch this documentary just to see some stuff that I don't know about Earl. Instill the kind of consciousness of obligation to your fellow men and love of God and respect for your country. All of those things were instilled in, in me, and I think they came out in my writing. Going far, son? Right far.